Kongde is one of the main characters to the series of To the Stars and Back and the main perspective of season 1 and has a traumatic past who in the beginning comes off as so and so, get the hell away from me and wants absolutely positively nothing to do with the other main character Bo's son, his new neighbor. Oh, that's not It comes to the realization that he may be a bit too rude after seeing Bo's son's reaction to him throwing out cooked cookies. But due to Bo's son's persistency, it causes Kongde to come out of his shell. He's very hesitant on opening up to Bo's son because he's trying to protect him. But why he's like this is because he was bullied and he hated himself. He was terrorized through his school years. He was even bullied for his passion of writing. So because of this, he phases people out and sees things more negatively than Bo's son, hence why he wants to protect him, by staying as far away as possible from him. He's even horrified of being seen how he looked in the past. Here is... The very stylish hermit crab, Kong Day, has had trouble and trauma from his past. This series opens up by establishing this character is not friendly. He lives alone and that he generally prefers it that way. And when I say he's not friendly, he's not friendly at all. L look at how he completely ignores this old man, who's probably born in 1937. Don't worry, I'll be your friend. He would have an occasional fling which is shown towards the beginning, but no real friends because of his past and trauma. Bosun comes in like a meteor as his neighbor and tries many ways to talk to him. And it isn't until episode 7 after Bosun successfully destroys destroys his date completely knowingly. Oh. No. Kong Day gives Bo Sun a chance, and these two are eating Korean barbecue, and we see Kong Day continue his self-deprivation come to play, as he's shocked after continuously pushing him away, even after giving him a hmm in response to being asked about his name. Kong Day's inner dialogue explains when people typically try to talk to him, he pushes them away, and how they respond is how they respond. But Bo Sun is different. Bo Sun is the key to changing him, playing an even bigger role, witnessing and trying to save him from being bullied, which isn't revealed until the season finale. But becoming Bo Sun's friend, he even becomes jealous and weary that Bosun's friend Kyo could be in a relationship with them and is cheating on them and you see that he's developing the sense of care for Bosun and branches out. It isn't until episode 38 that we finally delve into Kong Day's mind and pass more. Kong Day has a nightmare showing he's back in a classroom and as he's walking out childish insults randomly start appearing. We have to rise above! Which all leads to an old portrait of Kong Day when he was younger which was well a little overweight a little nerdy looking. Oh. That's no. In the sense that no. With the text following guilty as he wakes up. I believe Guilty was written because maybe that's how he felt about Bosa not knowing how he looked in the past. So it's like this like deep secret and that's just completely him for all eternity. And it isn't until episode 86 where Bosa, who it isn't revealed as, but just as this long character who stops one of the guys from beating up Kong Day as Kong Day defended himself from getting bullied. He runs off after Bosa helps him. This could also be why Guilty could have appeared because he did that, but he doesn't recall everything early on just yet in the series. So like all of his memories are coming to him very slowly. Episode 39 again, Kong Day highlights the fact that he pushes everyone away to protect himself and that he ends up being cruel towards people and that Bosun was the exact person he did not want to hurt. So he wanted to stay far away from him, if possible. I'm assuming because he's oblivious and maybe he doesn't want to be seen that way or maybe that's the type of person to get hurt and the most easily and maybe his character feels like he's past that point of where he could be easily hurt. But regardless, he's gonna open up to him. Kong Day has made several changes towards himself. He changed his hair, he lost a lot of weight, he completely changed his attire, but he never changed the fact that he still wrote, and Bosun even encourages him to share what he's written with him. Episode 57 is a slight repeated flashback to his past in the same room, but it's brighter with instead of a blaring guilty, it's a congrats Kong day. And a familiar tune is playing, showing the mysterious Bosun once again with no further context. We eventually do come back to understand what this congrats is by episode 81. As I mentioned earlier, Kong day won a short story contest, and through this flashback, we see continuous tune again and some two grand bullies bullies decide to make fun of him after he was forced to read out loud as the bullies try to rip his short story kong day in an attempt to fight back as one of the bullies tries to throw a punch at him bosun jumps on his arm and kong day tries to get away from them but kong day by the end has trouble trying to recall what this person looks like and he doesn't know it's bosun just yet gratefully through with more discussions of writing in episode 31 and 37 we see kong day isn't too scared to share his work with bosun thankfully the haters couldn't get him there oh my god stay true to yourself like what
Episode 66, another travel to the past, fun fact, the song he's continuously hearing is My Girl by The Temptation. He's at a pool party invited by Bo Sun's friends and he hears this song blasting on their speaker and is immediately transported back in the past. The same two tunes we've seen twice, which is subliminally interrupted by Bo Sun shouting his name back in real time. Looking back, there was a lot of hints it was Bo Sun and I genuinely didn't think it was gonna be him. Like I, I had a key thought, maybe, oh, it could be him, but I'm kind of just like, oh, maybe it could have been this girl or something and it could be like this sly side plot maybe he could go to therapy and like these two work it out to get like you know like Bobo Sun's character is pretty much like this full circle point for Kong Day. By episode 82 Kong Day starts wearing his glasses more prominently and 86 he looks in the mirror and sees his younger self and that he's still struggling to recall this figure which is interestingly enough like the feminine features are like extenuated more I don't know what the word is and Kong Day wishes he could remember who this person was this up and prompts him to look through his old yearbook which he scribbles on the cover and crosses his face because he hated his younger self so much and wanted to forget the past. And he's trying so hard but just can't figure out who the heck it was. He eventually gives up searching in his yearbook after a while and unironically, subliminally, thinks, wow, what would Bo Sun do? What, what would he think? It isn't until episode 98 Bo Sun comes over and Kong Day goes back to getting ready, Bo Sun notices his yearbook. So when Kong Day steps out, it's like his world crashed. He assumed this was his worst nightmare and that Bo Sun was gonna hate him because he wasn't attractive in the past but is actually greeted by Bo Sun saying, oh my god I remember you, wait. Which Kong Day doesn't get at first but then everything starts to hit Kong Day like a speeding missile. We, we see more flashbacks in his full face from all these old flashbacks from when he was younger. But Bo Sun scared from his reaction at first apologizes profusely but Kong Day runs to hug him. Coming towards the end of season 1, Bo Sun and Kong Day on episode 100, Kong Day confesses that he still feels hurt about a lot of things from the past. He's tired of feeling like shit when he sees himself and Bo Sun offers his full support for whatever he decides to do. And Kong Day thanks him and fidgetly asks him if they would have really been friends back then as Bo Sun comforts him and tells him definitely, which reveals a lot more. We've seen that he's traumatized by his past but it isn't until the end of season Season 1, it's verbalized by him that he's sick of it and feeling how he feels, which is brought about because of Bo Sun. But he then decides to book a therapy session. Thus concludes the video. Season 2 is currently ongoing, but Season 2 focuses more on Bo Sun's perspective, so we haven't gotten any more of like Kong Day's backstory. But if we do, I guess I'll add it to the video. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I will. <laughs> but Bo Sun has a scary past as well, which is crazy. But if you want me to cover that too when Season 2 ends, you should totally comment that below. If I missed anything, make sure to comment. Do you want to chime in? Do you think I did too much? I don't know. Let me know. Leave a like and always remember, there's a rainbow at the end of the tunnel. I couldn't think of a good transitional ending.